everybody, I'm April Cummings, your host and an agent here at Caldwell Banker Cayman Islands Realty. Welcome to the Cayman Life Show, where we showcase the faces, places, and spaces of these islands. Before we dive in, don't forget if you're buying or selling property, email me at property at caymanspaces.com. A portion of our proceeds goes to support the Cayman Life TV community channel and continues our work to celebrate Cayman Life. Cayman is certainly seeing a boom right now. It seems like on almost every corner, there's a sign for a new development. One of the most exciting in the mix is the NCB DART announcement about Olea. We're with Jackie Doak, president of DART Real Estate. She's joining us to talk a little bit about a new and exciting development here at Cayman Bay. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here this morning. Talk to me a little bit about this development. What can people expect? Well, you know, you said a new and exciting development. Everything that happens at Kamana Bay is absolutely new and exciting. And we launched Kamana Bay with the mantra that life blossoms. And over the last 10 years, we have absolutely seen life blossom at Kamana Bay um, through the school, through kids playing in the fountains, through our commercial office, which have been a great success, our retail, our restaurants, and our residents who live in the terraces. But the, uh, the pivotal moment that we're at right now is this is the first for sale residential at Kamana Bay. So we can truly highlight the live and own at Kamana Bay. Why is this um, such an exciting opportunity for folks? Is it just a new phase in the, in the growth of this blossoming town? Well, we always expected to be surrounded by residential at Kamana Bay. And for us, a lot has to do with the right timing. And we felt this was the exact right timing and actually the right uh, partner, NCB, to join with in uh, delivering our first residential product. Um, the, the context within which we're launching it is the expansion of the school, which is what a great story, you know, going from 600 um, amazing international students at the school coming up to 1,200 when the school has expanded. Um, in addition, uh, right to the north of the town, um, we'll have an amazing Foster's supermarket that will be opening at the end of 2019. So not only will you be able to, you know, open your back door and your kids can run across to the school because Olea is located right adjacent to the International School and on the beautiful canals at Kamana Bay, um, but they can ride their bikes to go to the supermarket, you know, get their hair cut. I mean, really amazing freedom at Kamana Bay. Cayman is a great and safe island and Kamana Bay actually will now create that community in town where people can move throughout to live, work, play, learn and enjoy every moment in their life. And it is beautiful to boot as well. Yes. Um, and we will talk a little bit more about that with Matthew, about kind of, you know, what people can expect in terms of the units and how it's all set up. Right. But what's your perspective, seeing the renderings, looking at this sort of evolve, how do you feel about it? I'm extremely, extremely excited. Um, the beauty of what we're uh, delivering at Olea is many types of residences for people to choose how they want to live. You could live in a condominium, a townhouse, or a duplex. Um, I ran into someone who has been on our list for almost since we opened Kamana Bay to live at Kamana Bay and they currently live at Crystal Harbor. And they said, you know, when we launched it, they were so excited, but they weren't sure. But there was this one image of a woman having coffee on a terrace overlooking the canal and they said that had them. Um, so we're just so excited to have the, the Olea community within the community of Kamana Bay. Olea will have its own amenities, a pool, a gym, you know, just great space around your residence. But then you have the lovely integration with Kamana Bay and all that that offers on your back door. So let's talk a little bit about the timing of all this. Absolutely. So I think it's important to put some context around why we're launching a residential at Kamana Bay now. Um, the Cayman International School, it was our first building um, in the town of Kamana Bay. Um, we opened with a very small population and today we have over 600 students from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade. And so we're expanding the school to accommodate 1,200 students in an amazing, enriching campus environment where you'll have a high school, an elementary, and a middle school. So really a, a feeling of a true high school. Um, in addition, Foster's is going to go to the north, bringing a beautiful supermarket with um, a lovely cafe inside um, and just all that you could want to have in a new footprint of a supermarket at Kamana Bay. So all of this kind of coming together means that all of the infrastructure, if you will, yes. is here. Um, in terms of timing overall, though, is how is this connected to what's going on in the country? Is it just the right time? So what you can see is based on the growth of the town of Kamana Bay, the new office buildings that we're building, we're seeing a great boom in new businesses coming to Cayman and the growth of the, the population in Cayman. 
and we're very excited about that. Um, obviously, people coming to Cayman need places to live, schools to put their children, uh, places to work, and we really feel that it's all coming together in the perfect storm at Kamana Bay. Being a tenant of Kamana Bay, you do get the opportunity to see things first. So we launched to our tenants and our employees, and over two-thirds of phase one and phase two um, have gone under reservation. So we knew there was demand. We didn't expect for the demand to be that strong, and we're just delighted by it. There is four phases. Uh, Matthew will tell you much more about uh, the beautiful Olea residences, um, but we're very excited at the outcome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate the time. Matthew White is the Managing Director of the NCB Group and joins us now to talk more about Alea. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, April. Talk to me a little bit about what's in store for people. Well, we are very privileged to be part of this exciting project. Um, we've been developing in Cayman for over 17 years and uh, Communities is our focus, and really this is the pivotal opportunity for a development company in Cayman. We're uh, producing a project called Olea, which is the first for sale development in Kamana Bay. Um, Kamana Bay itself is a world-class planned community, um, which is amenity rich, and really that's what we're looking to enhance with Olea, is to tap into uh, that town center and produce uh, 124 mixed-use uh, development um, to really tie into that connectivity with the town center. So how do you do that? I mean, is it important how these places are designed? Is there, are there special things that you have to sort of take into account to make it all work together? Certainly, there's a lot of planning that's been uh, gone into this project um, particularly, uh, and connectivity is really the focus. We're looking at um, people being able to walk, bike ride, use cars, um, access to schools, access to supermarkets, access to the town center. We have a beautiful promenade along the canal front. Um, so all of that has to, has to play in. And then one of the big focuses for us was having a mix product type. We didn't want it to be uh, a cookie cutter type development. When you have 124 units, it was important for us to have a variety to really test the market and, uh, and afford people the opportunity at various levels uh, to enter into the Kamana Bay market. So uh, that's how we've ended up with one, two, three bedroom condo units, townhouses, as well as duplexes as well. What do you think is um, unique about this? I mean, there are a lot of different potential areas you could explore, but um, in terms of sustainability and design? Yeah, those are excellent points. I think that both the DART group and NCB group have really focused on building communities of, of that last past our generation, that are sustainable. Uh, we've done that through solar panels. Uh, Ole will actually be the largest single solar um, producing community in the Cayman Islands, um, as well as geothermal, which has been something that's been close to NCB's heart, is trying to tap into our local uh, water conditions to produce uh, energy efficient cooling for the homeowners. And so um, both of those are key aspects of sustainability for us. Um, there's recycling programs in place. Um, we've got a herb garden uh, where people can uh, use their own farm-to-table skills um, uh, at home. And so there's a number of different avenues in which we've kind of tapped into that. What's it like to be part of all this? It's exciting. I mean, this is what I love to do, take uh, projects from the ground up. Um, have a raw piece of land and have to kind of imagine what people are going to be like raising their families there and that's something that's really important to us so um, this project is is extra special for us it uh, you know it's uh, uh, important for Cayman um, the proximity to Seven Mile Beach uh, it's a really added value to the town center of Kamana Bay uh, and so it, it is really exciting for us to be part of. All right so how's the response been so far? Uh, April, it's been overwhelming to be honest. Uh, we're on our third phase of our sales program. So the first phase launched to uh, staff of NCB and DART only. Um, and uh, amazing, they don't just like working for us, they want to live in our projects. So we had a, a tremendous uptake um, of that initially in that exclusive period. And then from there, we did a launch to tenants of Kamana Bay, um, the DART group and NCB group, as well as previous purchasers of, of NCB. So um, that again uh, was. Uh, overwhelming which uh, shows the commitment to um, people in our projects. So at the moment now we're two-thirds sold out of phase one and two which is pretty remarkable in a short space of six weeks selling and on uh, the beginning of uh, November we actually did our first formal public launch so uh, it's now open to the public. 
Let's talk a little more about some of the amenities there. I mean, this is all about community and quality of life. It is, definitely. Um, Mike uh, Stroh from Trio Architecture um, was assigned as the project architect, and he really um, tapped into um, what the, the core values of the project were going to be. He's an existing tenant of Kamana Bay and obviously believes in what the town centre needed from a residential standpoint. So we were excited to work with him and bring that to the table. Um, it's very unique to have a project that has over 10% uh, of the, the, the project space dedicated to the amenities. So um, it's over an acre of land that has been dedicated to the families that are going to be living in Olea as common area space, um, full of uh, resort style pools, herb gardens, a uh, beautiful promenade that takes you into the town centre. Um, and so that was really a focus that we uh, were really appreciative of him for. One of the things I think um, I found interesting is just that beautiful access to the, the, the view on the canal. Yeah, so, um, you know, the core of Kamana Bay is, is the crescent and built around, uh, um, you know, a very unique canal uh, waterway system out to the North Sound. And so for us, it was, it was really exciting to actually get a, a slither of that piece of land where we could tap into there. Um, you know, for, for residents living in Olea, they'll be able to use the promenade along the canal front um, to walk into the town centre, which is just a unique way of, of getting into the town centre. Um, and then there's boat access for particular uh, unit types and views. Um, that was something that was important to us. So the condo developments, which aren't actually on the water, uh, we designed them to be three stories so they could get the views over the uh, duplexes and the townhouses and still get a North Sound view. What do you want people to know about this? I want people to know that um, it's uh, an exciting project that's really family focused. Um, it's going to be a great place to raise your, your family, the kids and, and access to schools, supermarkets, the town centre. I think that it's a, a very energy efficient and thoughtful design um, that has produced uh, a really one of a kind uh, development uh, for Cayman. And lastly, the timing. Um, I know every, every corner I turn, I see, you know, there's cement in the air again. Um, from your perspective, um, what about the timing of all this? Is this the right time? Well, on the, on the global scale for, for Cayman, we're an in a growing economy. Um, I think our population is close to 65,000 people now. And with the, the three pillars of the economy all ticking along, um, it is important to have housing. And I think, to be honest, we are in a housing shortage. Um, we're expecting to see another 10,000 people, at least in Cayman, over the next five years. And with an average household of maybe three people, you're probably looking at about three to 4,000 homes that are needed. So whilst it is overwhelming, to see the amount of development that's happening. Uh, I think the government, the DART group, a number of people have committed to the infrastructure to make the further development of communities possible. So relatively speaking, for NCB and other developers on the island who are building 50, 40, 100 units, uh, there's still a long way to go in terms of what we're going to need in capacity. In our Cayman Faces segment this month, we showcase our current premier, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin. I was a painfully shy child. I've had to work through that all, all my life. Unfortunately, a lot of people interpret my sort of um, shyness as being aloofness or being standoffish or even arrogant at, at times. It's, it's none of those things. It's just a, a way that I am that I've, um, I've battled with my, my entire life. The premier you see in the suit at the cocktail parties is a very uncomfortable guy. If you take that jacket off and take that tie off, I'm just asking for you, <laughs> and get an opportunity to walk around the farm with him or go for a bike ride, then you meet the real person. He is a very shy person, and it's just that way with premier. You have to give it time, but when you see him and, and he warms up to you, Man, he's just, you, you see the true man that he really is. What about 250 mango trees? He's happiest when he's at his farm. He doesn't just own the farm, he goes out there and works on the farm. This, I think, actually is the best mango. I always call it my happy place. These trees are like three months old. Whenever things, pressures really reach me, I'll just disappear from the office and put on my work clothes and come up here and fall in with whatever my guys are doing, whether they're they're weeding or planting or 
fertilizing or spraying. This is the Cayman seasoning pepper. After four or five hours of that, see these are lovely size. It clears my mind and um, I get back into the harness again and continue <laughs> with the business of running the country. It's your support to ensure that another Progressives administration leads this country to higher heights. His entire life is about serving his people. I do what I believe is, is, is right and best all the time. As his songs say, if you're running down his people, then you are walking on the fighting side of him. He will fight for Cayman. He will defend Cayman. I absolutely do love my country. I, I couldn't tell you the time I've been away from Cayman for more than two weeks, um, <laughs> because this is the best place on earth. And uh, this is not only the place where I was born, but the place I want to die. If you haven't seen our botanic park here in Cayman, you are in for a treat. It is one of Cayman's treasures. Basically, gingerbread houses of this style were built in the uh, mid-18 to early 1900s. At the Queen Elizabeth course, II Botanic Park, volunteer Denise Bodden shares her knowledge of Caymanian homes and gardens. With the gingerbread house, oftentimes it is the actual gingerbread, the fret work that is very unique uh, from carpenter to carpenter, district to district. If you look at a picture of an old house, you know, 50, 100 years ago, you can actually almost tell which district you're in and which carpenter probably made it simply because of the patterns that were on it. So it really is quite an absolutely fascinating um, opportunity just to come out and share that with people. She says you can learn a lot from these yards, the plants, their positions. They all tell the story of Caymanian life in the not too distant past. You know, houses were usually used for, you know, a place to shelter from hurricanes, for sleeping and also for formal entertaining because most of our work actually happened outside of the house. Whether we were building ships, fishing or doing carpentry work or, you know, whatever, it was all a pretty much an outside life. So, you know, you had your workshop outside, you had your outhouse outside. So very little happened inside the house. It was more of an ornament, really, and a place of shelter. All this at a family fun day organized by the Garden Club of Grand Cayman in partnership with the National Trust and the park. It brought people here who might not normally have made the trip to Frank Sound. First of all, we bring the people out to the only botanic park in the Cayman Islands. And second of all, um, it, it, it's really an education. So what begins as finger painting and Jenga in the gardens <laughs> becomes an exploration of the orchid boardwalk. This is a native plant. And a new generation and of fans of the flora and fauna lovely. of the Cayman Islands. So there you go. And that looks like one of our Cayman snakes. For people like Denise, days harmless. like this are important. Can we go and look at that snake? Because they help okay, ensure that this knowledge of really Cayman quiet, is shared so with okay, others. But you have to be really quiet so he doesn't run. So just really trying to educate people about some of the native vegetation, some of the introduced vegetation, and of course the beauty and the charm and the value value of Cayman's built heritage and some of the unique qualities uh, that these homes have. Certainly worth the price of admission. In our property showcase this month, we have a beautiful home near Frank Sound you're going to love. It's called Oceanus.
Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, if you're buying or selling real estate, email me at property at caymanspaces.com. As a real estate agent with Caldwell Banker Cayman Islands Realty, I have access to listings from more than 30-plus companies and more than 200 agents. And remember, a portion of our commissions goes to support the work we do here at the Cayman Life TV channel, covering community events, showcasing the people, places, and spaces of the Cayman Islands. See you next time.